Our South American adventure continues as we explore the rugged part of eastern and northern Argentina. And so starts another episode of our South American adventure. Thank you very much for our Patreons for making these videos possible. It's your support that assists us in making better videos. If you would like to support us, please go to patreon.com forward slash feelers on four wheels and subscribe today. After the off-road adventure of the previous episode, we explored a few small towns between the different mountain ranges of the Andes. The small town of Barrial and of Tiberias was Iowa types of towns. You can stroll through them in a few minutes and the atmosphere is very chilled and rural. We also loved the fact that there were great public spaces with great views of the mountain. Then we headed for Parque Nacional de la Quesadas, where we could walk around and get to know the plants and see them up close. It was our first opportunity to learn some of the names of the plants, all the time appreciating the wide open spaces and the condors above. There were also a wheelchair friendly route that made my life a lot easier. Then we decided to head a bit further west to look up some greenery to get away from the higher altitudes for a week or two. So today we are visiting Casa del Che, the house where Che Guevara was born and lived, the small town of Alta Garcia. We're not sure if they will allow us to do a video inside, but let's go and have a look. He was born here in 1927 and grew up here. Uh, worked in the mate plantations and before he became a very famous person. So let's go and have a look how Che grew up. This was our type of museum. Small enough to visit in an hour but interesting enough to keep you engaged. I love to focus on Che's everyday life and the road trip around South America that he did with his friend. They even had one of his fake passports on display that he used to get into Bolivia on his last effort to spread revolution in South America. It was a really interesting time capsule, visiting Che's museum, or Che's museum. It really shows that traveling can um, change your mind and open your eyes to many things like it did when he traveled through um, Argentina and then through South America and later even Central America. Yeah, fascinating. What did you like about it, honey? Excuse me, Jay. Um, it was a, just a quick summary of his life. I didn't really know. Well, there were quite a few interesting things. He played rugby with his grandma. I didn't know that. Um, but yeah, just a brief history of the, his life and his passions and what he stood for. Yeah. So now the journey continues. We're heading to Cordoba. We're going to try city life uh, again. We haven't been very successful in visiting cities, so we're going to try and get into a city. We're going to put the car in storage. <laughs> yes. Step one. No, not in storage, in parking. Oh, parking. Safe. We're, going to, we're going to put the car in safe parking. Corinne's been a bit paranoid yeah. about parking in a city. I'm extremely paranoid. It's yeah. like leaving my child yeah. next to the road. Yeah. And I'm so scared I see shattered glass <laughs> next to the door yeah. when I come back. Yeah. So we're going to park hopefully in um, at a hostel and sleep in the car and explore a bit of city life. And we've been early sleepers, so we're going to try some nightlife as well, which we haven't done in a while. Let's see, Let's see how it goes. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.